Problem Solving, Compare Numbers, Lesson 7.4 Making a model can help us to compare numbers. A model will show us how many tens and ones there are. We can use counters, draw a picture, or use cards to model numbers. Here we have a riddle, and we have these cards to help us. I am a one-digit number that is greater than six but less than eight. What number am I? We look at the clues it's giving us. It says it's a one-digit number, so we know it's not the ten because ten is a two-digit number. It has a one in the tens place and a zero in the ones place. So it's not ten. It's not this one. So we can take this one away. It's greater than 6, so the number is greater than 6. So if it's bigger than 6, it can't be 6, so it's not the 6. And it's bigger than 6, so it can't be 5, because 5 is not greater than 6. And it's not 8, 9, or 10, because it says it is less than than 8. So we already took the 10 away. It's less than 8, so it can't be 8. It has to be smaller than 8. So we can take away the 8, and if it's less than 8, it can't be 9. 9 is bigger than 8. So the only one that we have left, whoops, my tape got stuck. The only one we have left is the 7 card. So the number for our riddle, the answer is 7. We used the clues in the riddle to help us figure out the cards that didn't fit so we could find the one that is left over, and that's the answer. When solving a word problem, we need to ask ourselves what do we need to find, what information will we use, and how will we use the information. Lisa has number cards. She gives away the cards with numbers less than 22 or greater than 37. Which number cards does Lisa have now? The clues are that they're, she gave away. Notice that it says she gave away, so that means she doesn't have them anymore, right? She gave away the cards that were less than 22 or greater than 37. So we need to find which cards she still has. So we can model the cards, and we can put an X and cross out the ones that don't fit. She gave away less than 22, so we can put an X on any number that is less than 22, that is smaller than 22. Is 19 smaller than 22? Well, 22 has two tens. And 19 only has one 10, so yes, that's smaller than 22, so she gave that one away. 21, is that less than 22? It has two 10s, and 22 has two 10s, so we're going to have to look at the 1s. It only has one 1, 22 has two 1s. So 21 is smaller than 22, so we can cross this out. She gave that one away. Is 29 smaller than 22? It has nine ones. That has two ones, so that's not smaller. She gave away greater than 37. Is 29 greater than 37? No, so she didn't give that away. It's only got two tens. It's not greater. How about 32? Is that greater than 37? They both have three tens, but 32 only has two ones, and that has seven ones. So is that greater than 37? No, so she didn't give that one away. 38, is that greater than 37? It has eight ones, and that has seven ones, yes. So she gave the 38 away, because it's greater than 37. How about 41? Is that greater than 37? It's got four tens, and that's got three tens. Yes, that is greater than 37, so she gave it away. She gave away the cards that were greater than 37. We can cross out the cards that she gave away, then we can see which cards are left. 
which number cards does she still have? She has 29 and 32. She has 29, and we'll put a comma to separate them, and 32. Those are the number cards she still has. We can make a model of the cards to solve. Here we made a model of the cards that Tim has. He has these number cards. He gives away the cards with numbers less than 51 or greater than 56. Is 39 less than 51? It's got three tens and that's got five tens. So yes, we can cross off the 39. He gave it away. How about 44? Is that less than 51? It's got four tens and that's got five tens. Yes, 44 is less, so he gave it away. How about 50? Is 50 less than 51? It's got five tens and it's got five tens. But this has zero ones and that has one one. So 50 has less ones, it's less than 51. So he gave that away. Is 52 less than 51? It's got two ones. Nope. How about 55? Is that less than 51? It's got five ones. Nope, it's not less. How about 62? Is that less than 51? It's got six tens, and that's got five tens, so no, it's not less. So let's try the greater than 56. Is 52 greater than 56? They both have five tens. But that has two ones, and that has six ones, so that's not greater. How about 55? Is that greater than 56? They both have five tens, but this has five ones and that has six ones, so that's less. That's not greater than 56. How about 62? Is that greater than 56? It's got six tens and 56 has five tens. So yes, that is greater than 56, so he gave it away. Which number cards does Tim have now? We can see what's left. He has 52 and 55. Tim has number cards 52, we'll put a comma to separate them, and 55. We crossed off the ones he gave away to see what was left. Let's try this one. Dave has these number cards. He keeps the cards with numbers greater than 94 and less than 105. So we need to circle the cards that he keeps. He keeps the cards with numbers greater than 94. So we're going to circle the ones that he keeps. Is that greater than 94? It has eight tens. 94 has nine tens, so that is not going to be circled. 91, is that greater than 94? They both have nine tens, but this only has one one, and that has four ones. That's not greater than 94. How about 95? Is that greater than 94? They both have nine tens, but 95 has five ones, and this only has four ones. So yes, this is greater than 94, so we can circle it. 97, is that greater than 94? It's got seven ones, and 94 has four ones, so yes, that is greater. Now we have to be careful because it says it has to be less than 105. Is that greater than 94? Oh, that's 103. That is greater than 94. Is it less than 105? They both have 10 tens, but this one has three ones and this one has five ones. So it is less than 105. So we can circle this. It's greater than 94 and less than 105. How about 110? Is that greater than 94? Oh, yes. It's got 11 tens, doesn't it? 110. Is it less than 105? It's 110. That's more than 105. So we have the three that he still has, that he keeps. Dave keeps the number cards 95, 97, 103. 95... We'll put commas to separate them. 97 and 103. Those are the ones he keeps.
95, 97, 103. Emma underlines the number cards greater than 85 and circles the number cards less than 93. Which number cards are both greater than 95 and less than 93? So it has to be both of those things. It has to be greater than 85 and less than 93. So the first thing we're going to do is underline the number cards greater than 85. Is 84 greater than 85? They both have eight tens, but 85 has five ones and this only has four ones. So we're not going to underline this one. It's not greater than 85. Is 87 greater than 85? It has seven ones and 85 has five ones. So yeah, we can underline this one because it is greater than 85. Is 91 greater than 85? It has nine tens and that has eight tens. Yes. Nine tens, anything with nine tens is going to be greater than 85 with eight tens. Now it said she circles the number cards less than 93. We have to circle the numbers that are less than 93. Is 84 less than 93? It's got eight tens and that's got nine tens. So yes, we can circle this one. It's less than 93. Is 87 less than 93? It's got eight tens and that has nine tens. So yes, that is less than 93. Is 91 less than 93? They both have nine tens, but 91 has one one and 93 has three ones. So yes, one is less than three. 91 is less than 93. Now all of these have the same tens, so we have to compare the ones. 94 has four ones, that only has three ones, so that's not less than 93, that's more than 93. This has eight ones, that's more than three ones, so that's more than 93. This has nine ones and that has three ones, so that's more. So these are not less than 93. So the number cards that are both greater than 85 and less than 93 are going to be underlined and circled. And we can see the ones that are underlined and circled. It's 87 and 91. And we can write the 87, we'll put a comma to separate them, and the 91. Number cards 87 and 91 are both greater than 85 and less than 93. Tala has these number cards. Write each number in the box to show less than 39 or greater than 39. So Tala has these four cards and we have to either put them on the side that are less than 39 or on the side that are greater than 39. Is 37 less than 39 or greater than 39? We look at the tens, they both have three tens. But 37 has only seven ones and 39 has nine ones. Seven is less than ninth, so 37 is less than 39, so it would go here. What about 41? Is that less than 39 or greater than 39? We look at the tens place, it's got four tens. 39 has three tens, so four is bigger than three. 41 is greater than 39, so we would go on this side. What about 40? Is 40 less than 39 or greater than 39? We look at the tens. It has four tens and 39 has three tens. Four is bigger than three, so 40 is greater than 39. It has more tens. So it goes on this side. 38, is it less than 39 or greater than 39? I bet some of you already know. We look at the tens, they both have three tens, and 38 has eight ones, 39 has nine ones, eight is less than nine, so 38 is less than 39. And look, we only have one space left anyway, so it should go there, shouldn't it? So we can put our 38 here.
Okay, our next lesson is 10 less and 10 more. That's lesson 7.5. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you at the next video. Bye.